Hey folks, I'm Jack Fawcett, and welcome to this demo and review of the One Control Rocket Gray Fuzz. So this was a fuzz I was very excited about because I really like Bjorn's designs, the BJFE design pedals, and I particularly like what he's doing with One Control. They're just a good collaboration. They're making some really good quality pedals and really faithful to his designs. And with it being what he's doing now, taking a lot of what he's developed over the years and kind of, you know, putting it in with one control. So this is an octave fuzz or just a regular fuzz. There's, based on the description, 15 years of research going into this pedal. Now, I love fuzz pedals and I like octave fuzz pedals but they're very hard to use the octave fuzz in particular and with fuzz you need to get it right you need to understand how to dial it in and what you're hearing and what you're not because fuzz is responsible for a lot of great classic guitar tones over the years but if you don't know how to dial it in if you don't know what you're listening to and how it's been reproduced on records then it's 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 not as easy as like an overdrive or a distortion to get a good sound out of. For instance, first of all, fuzz pedals tended to be plugged into amps that were already really, really pushed quite a bit. Also, if you notice on a lot of records, the sound that you're hearing is quite a bit... I don't want to say thinner because it doesn't sound thin, but it lacks bottom end compared to what you hear when you're in a room with an amplifier. Well, that's because of uh, using high pass filters on recordings. You cut out the frequencies that you don't need that can compete with other instruments. That's really hard to get when you're in a room. And not only that, but because of the transistors and things, the fuzz pedals frequently have sweet spots and then very, very little other use when you get that sweet spot that's where it sounds amazing but then any other way to dial it in and it can just sound you know it can sound sputtery or farty or all kinds of weird things so i was very excited to see that bjorn was doing this octave fuzz with one control now the obvious thing when you look at it is that you go oh it's like a, it looks this is cool it looks like a video game controller right but what I actually saw, not being a gamer myself, and I don't know if this was part of the design, but I, I really, it kind of reminds me of the old Roger Mayer pedals, which looked like this cool spaceship. Now, it does, I get the video game controller thing, but if you look up what an old Roger Mayer pedal looked like, I see at least an ode to that in this pedal, which I really like. Who Beyond that, now you've got controls for fuzz and octave so that's really cool you can foot switch your octave so it can work as just a really great fuzz and the octave fuzz now it's balanced out tonally there's a smoothing circuit that they worked on where it basically evens out a lot of the problems that octave fuzzes would have had for instance one of the things is you can click on the octave fuzz and not all of a sudden dive for your amps eq control because those when you clicked on the octave it could be, you know, all of a sudden you might want to back off your treble on like a classic design. This one doesn't do that. Very easy to transition from one to the other and not have any problems with your amplifier. Another thing that's really cool, and this affects it in a number of different ways, is the intensity knob. Now, this is a kind of cool ode to other, you know, classic pedals because old fuzz pedals didn't all say gain or fuzz. They might have said things like attack or intensity or, or had other knob names saying gain. It's basically a gain knob, but this has a great sweep to it. Now, that doesn't surprise me because Bjorn's pedals tend to have great sweeps to them. They have a lot of usable settings, again, as opposed to just sweet spots, you know, even on overdrive pedals, like you frequently aren't going to turn the tone all the way up on an overdrive pedal because it's really sharp and, and biting and you need a really, really dark sounding amp in order to use a setting like that. Well, on Bjorn's pedals, they don't tend to be like that. They tend to be usable at all settings. Not to say that you're going to use them at all settings, but they, they tend to be a realistic sound at any setting. Well, this has a nice sweep to the intensity and the amount of gain. When you back it off, it almost has shades of an overdrive or a usable classic fuzz, kind of in hybrid territory. Now, as you turn it up, it gets into, of course, much more saturated territory. Now, with the fuzz rolled back, when you click the octave on, you almost get these really unique, like, electric sitar tones, which is kind of cool. And that just wouldn't have been a usable sound on old octave fuzzes. Also, 
The way that you would use an old octave fuzz is with a Stratocaster on the neck pickup and playing high up on the fingerboard. And that was the way that you had to use it. This sounds great on a number of different pickup settings, on a number of different pickups, and all over the fingerboard. Now, you, you really, you still can't like, you know, I mean, you can, but you can't, it's not as good to hammer on big chords and things, but, you know, even using certain intervals, the octave fuzz would do weird things, the old octave fuzz. It would just, sometimes it would sound amazingly musical, and then other times it would just sound like, and you just wouldn't know what was going. It just, it just did not work in certain places, and it did work in other places. This works a lot. This opens up a whole wide array of tones that you would hope that an octave fuzz would give you. So that's really cool. The other thing that's really cool about it is, and I, and I mentioned this where I said, you know, kind of fuzzes can be, you have to know what you're doing. And well, that can lead a lot of players to not use fuzz pedals. It took me a while to figure out fuzz pedals and everything because they do have all their idiosyncrasies and all their wackiness and all their sweet spots and you need to dial it in, right? Well, this to me, especially, like, for, forget the octave side for a second. If you just use the fuzz side, this is a great fuzz for people who like fuzz but aren't into fuzz because response-wise, it feels almost more like between an overdrive and a distortion, but it gives you fuzz tone. But the some fuzzes just totally blanket your guitar tone. You click it on, and it's like your guitar is gone. It's just this, you know, the tone might be cool. This is a response thing. You, but you hit a note, and it's almost like you're not even playing your own rig anymore. This one has a much more natural feel to it that I really, really like. Of course, it's a rugged enclosure. Again, really unique design with the video game controller, Roger Mayer kind of thing going on with it. I'm very impressed with this pedal. I really like it. I'm actually excited to do some recording with it because it's kind of a fuzz tone that I've been picturing in my head that I wasn't getting from a lot of other pedals. And I, I do have, I'm not putting down, I do have a one control Baltic blue fuzz also, which is great, but that's more like a big muff. This is a, a kind of a different fuzz tone that I was picturing in my head. So I'm not subtly putting down that pedal. I really like that pedal. So for this demo, I'm plugging into a Franklin Amps 5E3 going into a 210 cabinet loaded with Jensen's. You've just heard it with a Fender Stratocaster going for some of those classic Jimmy tones there. Now, again, I wanted to show you that this also works with humbuckers. So keeping in the spirit of Jimi Hendrix, who would have been the most notable octave fuzz user. Next, I'm going to plug in my Gibson SG Custom, get some cool tones out of that guitar using this. And, and again, to really show you just how versatile it is. This is like an octave fuzz that you would picture if you didn't know that an old octave fuzz had all of its old idiosyncrasies, right? Th this is a, just a more modern, more refined version while retaining the cool classic tone and just opening up its uses wide open across the board. So now it's not only uh, used once in a while, this is kind of a weird thing, but you can get this cool tone and maybe you need that in this song. No, this is something that you can use much more frequently and with much more versatility. So let us know in the comments, is this something that you've tried? This is a new pedal. Have you tried this? Do you want to try it? Have you used other of have you used other octave fuzzes and had similar experiences with the weird idiosyncrasies? Let us know in the comments. Stick around for some more tones. I'm Jack Fawcett. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.